Welcome to another lesson that is part of the TI30X Plus MathPrint student course. In this lesson, we will be covering setting the calculator modes. To begin, press the mode key to view the available mode options and those that are currently selected. To change a mode, use the cursor keys to locate over a desired setting and then press enter to select it. Let's look at each mode in turn. The first line relates to the angle modes, whether it be degrees, radians or grad. In the second line, the settings relate to the numeric mode in which the answers will be displayed. The default is normal mode, but there are also scientific notation mode and engineering notation modes. The third option relates to the decimal notation mode. In float mode, it displays up to 10 digits plus the sign in the decimal point, as the following example shows. Press second quit to return to the home screen. Type in the number 1.0002345678. That's 12 digits. When you press enter, the calculator changes so that only 10 digits are displayed. Notice that the last digit is a rounded value. Let's return to the mode key. If you change the mode to one of the fixed decimal places, in this case, let's select four decimal places. Press second quit to return to the home screen. Let's try the original number. And if we press enter now, the answers are displayed in four decimal places. Let's return to the mode key. We'll go back and change it to float mode and then move to the next line. In this line, the various settings for results for complex numbers are shown. Real display mode, rectangular mode and polar mode. There are more mode options below. Press the down arrow to see them. The second last mode um, option is related to the number system being used. And the default is decimal, but there is also hexadecimal, binary and octal. The final mode is related to the way that the results and entries are displayed. MathPrint will make uh, entries and answers display as, as though they were written in a textbook and classic mode uh, displays all the results and entries in a single line. Let's use an example to see the difference. First, let's select math print mode. Press second quit to return to the home screen. We're going to perform a calculation which is a quarter to the power of a third. Choose the fraction bar key, one for the numerator and four for the denominator. Press the right arrow to exit the fraction. And now let's use the power key and type the number three and enter. Note that the display shows the fractions on two levels and then the power on another level, much like you would see in a standard textbook. Now let's see how it goes in classic mode. Press the mode key again. Press the down arrow till you get to the math print classic line and change the mode to classic. 
quit from the mode settings and now we'll try the same calculation in classic mode a quarter to the power of a third we'll put brackets to show that we mean we want to raise a quarter to the power of three and now when we press the power key you get a carrot key which is the conventional key used for powers type three and enter and note that the answer is given in decimal format. You can change the answer key um, by, uh, so you can change the value to fractions by pressing the answer toggle key. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you.